everyone. Welcome to Higan Iruthil and see how the game uh, earned in 2023 in April. So as we see here, this is a report of the revenue generated by mostly th this list is going to be mostly gotcha games. Um, so this is a initial list. There's another list that I will redirect you later. But first and foremost, um, Higan Iruthil earned 1.7 million. I'm not sure if that is enough for a debut, but uh, Honkai Star Rail got 20 million as expected. Let's not compare, okay? Let's not compare. They're not apples to apples. They're not the same game. They're not, you know, they, the, the development of both games are different. So, again, it would be unfair to compare Higan versus Honkai Star Rail on their first month. But my question is, is the 1.7 million enough? as a debut will they be able to sustain it so if you could compare in this list these are usually your gotcha games or princess connect is already out um grimlight artery gear here this was also a height game that came out which is down to seventy thousand. alchemy stars global is actually down to 70 as well uh a big drop girls frontline uh, i'm just gonna be mentioning games that i have tried out and have played archland is down to 400k um they were at i think 5 million when they launched so something's wrong with this game um has to be launched globally for it to earn more punishing gray raven also down down to 500,000 counterside very long running game ready with 500,000 guardian tales with 800 who else? Limbus Company maintaining a recently released game as well at 1 million. Uh, Path to Nowhere is maintaining at 1.4. Arc Knight still strong at 1.5. So as you can see, um, these games, Arc Knight's Path to, no Path to Nowhere has been, you know, not, not really one year. But it's maintaining at 1.4. So if you get my drift, Hegan they should maintain this or exceed it in the next few months for it to have a you know a strong indication that the game is still healthy eversoul is still here at 1.6 tar fantasy previously strong game as well at 1.7 same as hegan but again these games are maintaining revenue so um, i just want to share this with you guys princess connect uh japan is still good at 2 million so again the revenue here these are mostly gotcha games uh nikkei strong at 24 million what do you expect and uh blue archive also strong here at 8 million so these are the games guys that um are in the same you know gotcha ecosystem as um not not really getting the same gameplay but in terms of gotcha category they are the same and uh, let's take a look at this other list that i mentioned this one it goes back um way to um, october 2022 on on the revenue so let's take a look at these games uh in comparison to um higan iruthil so a uh, december also at 1.5 going down when it launched so at 1.5 so who else tower fantasy uh global when it launched more or less at six i think more so gradually going down as well so there's a downward trend usually for each game unless they maintain it and uh <clears throat> who else path to nowhere when it launched it was um not really i don't think it i think it was launched earlier but it it was it started slow but it had a seven million month and this is on um november 2022 so that's path to nowhere so gradually again going back down three one 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 point four but again, it started at 1.7. So there's still hope for Higan and Ruthel to go back up in terms of revenue as long as they put out more content. And for the month of May, they haven't really put out anything. 
so i do hope that they put out you know content which you know could grow their revenue as well so <clears throat> path to nowhere uh where is Higan? so Higan is here 1.7 so this this has a chance to go up but a big chance but a big possibility to go down so that is why i'm worried kind of worried about higani ruto's revenue um probably cut short because uh, honkai star Rail came out so anyway um we'll see this may june and july and if uh Higan and Ruthil can still be profitable for the next few months. I'll update you on this. And but for now, let's enjoy the game and hopefully they could provide more content uh as uh you know in, in the coming days. So thank you very much guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here. <laughs>